in Gaithersburg. This is Eduardo Orellana. Today is Tuesday, December 21st. And finally, welcome to our first edition of Trojan News. Modern Music Masters is a music honor society that is making a return to Gaithersburg. Bella Foch spoke to Ms. Clark to find out all about it. My name is Ms. Clark and I'm the chorus teacher. So TRIAM stands for Modern Music Masters and it is an honor society that highlights the accomplishments of musicians in schools that are in performing ensembles like orchestra, band, and choir. It also provides students opportunities to do community service specifically through music. People should apply for TRIAM because it's a great opportunity to be with people who are also outstanding musicians who are looking to give back to the community specifically through the field of music. We're really excited to bring TRIAM back to Gaithersburg. It's been like over 10 years since there was a TRIAM chapter here at Gaithersburg. So excited to start strong and get lots of applications in. Its academic team has returned to action. Ethan Butler talked to some of them about what it's like to prepare to compete. Are you interested in learning fun facts about the world? If so, the It's Academic team would be perfect for you. New members would be beneficial to the team. But why might there be such a shortage of new members this year? I think it's just the fact that people are kind of intimidated by, by what the club really means. So many, many people think that it's about, you know, being smart and memorizing everything, but really it, it's a process. It's, it's a whole learning process that's a blast once you really get into it. One of the best known novels of the author, Sherwood Anderson, is one comprising a series of interrelated to a town in what state? Ohio. Ohio, that's right. I think my favorite part of it's academic, memorizing the topics that I like the most and getting a question right after you studied it. Bombing of Dresden. Correct. I think it would be beneficial to a lot of students because they teach you about obscure topics that you might not already know. Apart from the pure memorization of facts, it really helps you broaden your scope and understanding of the world as a whole. It's really satisfying to know you got a question right, you put in the effort. If you're interested in joining the team, contact Mr. Richter or go to room 3037 during lunch with a pass. No matter your interest, there's probably a club for you at Gettysburg. As an eye on work, spoke to students and sponsors about what they get out of participating in a club. I participate in the NJROTC. Hi, my name is Nilda Karras, and I am the ambassador of student government, which is SGA, and also BFFs. How would you say that has affected your social life at Gatesburg High? Uh, it lets me meet new people, and makes me talk to a lot of people that I wouldn't otherwise. How do you think clubs affect the student in their social life? Um, the great thing about clubs in general is they help um, students connect with basically other students they wouldn't necessarily get to talk to. Do you recommend student, students join clubs and activities? If so, why? I recommend that students do join these clubs and activities because it helps you meet new people and maybe it's something that you'd really like and you wouldn't know it before. If you're out there not having anything to do, I suggest we have so many clubs at GHS. And finally, we're all looking forward to winter break. Starting next week, Isabel Matuka spoke to some of you about your big plans for the holidays. Can you say your name and your grade? My name is Amanda Salcedo and I'm in grade 12. What are you looking forward to most about winter break? Uh, for winter break, I'm looking forward to seeing my family again. Um, like people I haven't seen in like years, like family, friends as well. What activities do you have planned for winter break? Um, definitely to play games with my friends. Um, also to see family, of course. Um, holiday shopping. There you go. Can you say your name and your grade? Uh, I'm Shane Wallace. I'm in ninth grade. What are you looking forward to most about winter break? Uh, hanging with my family and playing sports. What activities do you have planned for winter break? Video games and opening presents. Do you have any winter family traditions? Uh, we open one Christmas present the day before Christmas. Can you say your name and what grade you're in? Um, my name is Nijay. I'm in ninth grade. What are you looking forward to most about winter break? Um, I'd say going to New Jersey to see my dad. Do you have any winter family traditions? Um, we all do a gift exchange. And that's it for today, Gettysburg. We hope you enjoy your winter break, and we'll see you again in 2022.